My name is Renee Dexler. I am the Director of Economic and Workforce Development here at the Salina Area Chamber of Commerce. So my role um, here at the Chamber is essentially to work with our businesses and employers in the Salina area in terms of attraction and retention of talent as well as recruiting um, and retaining business here in Salina. Um, I actually have been in Wichita the last 18 years. Um, I'm a social worker by education and by um, background, so spent 18 years in Wichita in a number of diff different fields, including HIV AIDS, um, hospice care. I did early childhood intervention for a number of years, and then kind of moved up and started doing some nonprofit administration work, and through that um, landed at the Douglas Design District for a number of years doing um, business development, urban planning, um, beautification sort of um, work and was laid off in April of 2020 because of COVID-19 <laughs> as many people found themselves and um, was just looking for an opportunity and this came up in Salina it was not something I had ever considered before um, leaving Wichita or moving to Salina um, but after coming up to interview and really seeing a lot of the momentum that was going on here the downtown and its infrastructure um, the public murals that are getting ready to go up. Um, it just really felt like this was a great place to land. So the Imagine Salina campaign started, gosh, about three years ago now, and so I kind of came right in the middle of this. It's a five-year campaign. Um, a number of investors in the community, business owners and employers got together and they said, you know, we really want to put some money towards um, the attraction and retention of talent in Salina. You know, we're use, losing young people. We've got the brain drain going on that the rest of Kansas is kind of also dealing with. How can we really position ourselves to be a place um, for young people and young families to want to come back to? And so that is what the Imagine Salina campaign is then. It's really a big marketing effort. Um, you know, Salina has a great story. It's a great place to live, work, and play. Um, but we weren't telling that story very well. And so that's what I get to do is um, talk about Salina's story through video and images and, and marketing um, online, the digital marketing, marketing on social media and those sorts of things. I'm really excited. You know, we, they launched a website early in 2020 before I was here and I've been able to get in and kind of look at some of the content and different features of that website. Um, I really um, am excited about sharing that website with our employers and having them utilize it more because it does have a job search feature on it. It does have resources about finding housing, um, education. You know, a lot of times when families or young people move here, they want to know what other um, post-secondary programs or even the public schools are like. Um, it has information about, um, you know, all of the dynamic kind of entertainment and arts, arts and cultural um, options we have here. Um, it talks about our downtown and kind of the eclectic and fun vibe that downtown has. So it's really just a spotlight on hopefully anything anybody would want to know about Salina if they were thinking about moving here. And it's something our employers can use to kind of showcase that and say, hey, here's a kind of repository for, for everything you might want to know. Um, we just got a blog up recently, and so we'll be posting, um, especially having guest blog posts um, from people living in Salina about what they love about living here, um, so that it can hopefully act as that sort of um, place to um, learn and find out more about Salina. So what I'm really looking forward to is um, getting, um, rolling up my sleeves a little bit and really looking at um, the internship. Um, sort of layout here in Salina. You know, we've got um, our, our public schools that have pathway programs that kind of um, lead students up into kind of a career choice. Um, but um, in talking to the, the schools and the post-secondary programs and the employers, I think there's a lot more we could do in terms of giving um, internship opportunities, not only to those high school students to kind of help make connections and keep them here or have them return if they go off to school, but also bringing talent into the area and providing that. So that's something I'm really looking forward to is, is just creating more um, opportunities for internship and then when we do have interns here 
having programming that helps get them connected to the community. So they're not just with their employers, they're out in the community, they're meeting each other, they're networking, and they're making connections here as well. Well, I'm really excited about, I mean, again, I'll mention downtown. I think that we have this really walkable, dynamic, um, fun downtown that has a lot of uh, places for entertainment and spending time with friends and hanging out. So I think that's just a great attraction. Um, it's something that's fun to show off when we have people here. Um, but I'm also um, really excited about the Friends of the River project, opening um, up the river back up, making it a walkable area, creating opportunities for kayaking and paddle boarding, those sorts of things. So I talk about that a lot because I think that's going to really um, make Salina a destination place as well as a place that people want to, you know, set down roots. Like I said, I mean, we definitely want our employers to be aware of the Imagine Salina website and um, utilize that in attraction and retention of talent. But I think anybody um, living in Salina would find some benefit and maybe find some things they didn't know about Salina on the site by visiting it, as well as you know if they're talking to friends and family about possibly coming and re relocating the Salina is just a great place to direct people um, to get information.